Hello guys and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game battle. Today we'll have two games up on the tabletop that will be versus each other in artwork, style, mechanics, and gameplay, and maybe a couple other categories. The first one here is Arcane Wonders, Sheriff of Nottingham, a classic game most of you have probably heard of, and if not, it'll be an interesting uh, battle for sure. And then we have Skybound's Heroes Call. In both of the games, are going to be bluffing and making decisions to try and gather the most resources. One, Sheriff Bing, yeah, you're traveling as a merchant and trying to get into Nottingham, but the Sheriff is watching and making sure you don't take any contraband in. If they can successfully gather the contraband from you, they're going to score points, and if you can successfully get it across, you're going to gain points. It's also basic resources. You can gather apples and chickens and so on and so forth, and if you can get the most in the end of the game in each of the categories, you'll score bonus victory points, most wins. Guardian's Call over here is basically basically a similar idea, but you're the guardian of a group of people and you're trying to gather as much as you possibly can for the wars to come. Now, of course, to do so, you'll be making offers to other players, such as this is definitely two shields or definitely two uh, villagers. And if they're right in calling you, then they're, they're going to get your stuff and put it into their village or town. If they're wrong, you get to take it back and vice versa with them. You'll have to go around the entire table and going through and choosing between the players until everybody has been chosen. The round will restart. There's different mechanisms to the games and they play a little differently but they're very similar in nature so let's go ahead and show you down below the components of each game and then which game will be the best among the best in all the different categories we talk about in this board game battle here we go guardians call versus sheriff of nottingham so here is sheriff of nottingham i have the base game but i also have the expansion so that already tells you something about the game and why i'm not reviewing it it's very very good i really really like this game many many people like this this game has been around quite a while and has been featured on many, many streams, live broadcasts, and videos on YouTube. So as opposed to doing that, there's many people who've done it much better than I. I wanted to do a more comparison video between this one here and Guardian's Call. So let's go ahead and show you what's in, in the game. If Just in case you haven't seen it before, you're going to get a ton of these tokens here from 50 to 1. These are currency you'll be using in the game and or victory points. At the end, whoever has the most is the winner. You get these basically these little bags here, these... I don't know what you want to call them, but like canvassy kind of bags. They're nice. They work all right. But after many, many times of playing this game, you, so you, you tend to break them. So I actually have popped this one off here. Hopefully someday I'll be able to put it back together, but who knows. It also comes with your sheriff token that moves around the map. You're going to get five different characters here. You've got uh, all different sorts of people here. And you'll be able to, uh, they all do the same thing though. There's different colors and they have the different spaces in which you're going to be placing down cheese, chicken, apples, and bread trying to score as many as you can. You have two huge decks of cards here that have contraband, which are red, and then the green stuff here, which is going to be stuff that you put in your tableau. And what's interesting about the game is as you go ahead and do your... Uh, bluffing. You're basically going to say, I have three apples, and you're actually going to put certain things inside the bag. You can put whatever you want in there, but you have to say the exact number of cards. Uh, so you can say, okay, I have, let's say I say I have three pieces of cheese. So it has to be three cards. You put them in here, right? And then after that, you close your bag up and everyone will do the same. One person plays as the sheriff, and then you give that person the bag and say, yeah, I have three pieces of cheese. Am I going to get to go across the border or not? And that person say, yes, you can, or no, you can't. In which case, they'd open the bag up, and if they, if they say that you can't, uh, they'll take that out and see, oh, you snuck a piece of, uh, you snuck some mead, so I'm going to actually take four, four, four currency from you, but you get to keep your cheese. Anything you don't lie about, you keep, and if you're fully telling the truth, you'll actually take money from the sheriff, so it's kind of a risky, risk-reward situation with the sheriff here, and you're trying to get as much out as you possibly can. Sometimes it's better to lie than tell the truth, and vice versa. You can play up to five players, but with the expansion, it's much extra stuff, which I'm not going to discuss in this game, because it's not fair to Guardian's Call. This is just for the base game. You get all the different cards here, and and the idea is you're going to go around the, the table two times. Everybody gets to be the sheriff twice, getting to call people on their bluffs or on their truths and scoring points. Whoever has the most of each of the four different categories here are going to score first and second place prizes here. Additionally, any red cards that you can get across the border, you're also going to score points at the end of the game. And that's basically Sheriff of Nottingham. All of the components you see here are nice and thick cur uh, currency pieces. The boards are very, very thick as well. Uh, it's really, really hard to bend them. And the cards are also good quality. The rule book is great as well. And the art 
artwork is very, very satisfactory. I really do like I like the artwork of this game. It tells you everything you need to know on the back of the box. It looks great. This is an easy, like straight to straight to uh, sales uh, on the on the shelf. It looks really good. Even the insert is very nice. It gives you exactly what you need. This is before a lot of the game trays and all that kind of stuff was out there. They actually uh, had this made for it. it. Has all the nice spaces for cards. There's enough for all of the expansion in this box as well. And then all the currency has their numbers on here. This is basically the game trays before game trays, in my opinion. Uh, very, very nice overall. Nice sturdy quality of the box. I played this game more than many other games I have in my collection. It's probably one of the top 10 games I've played. Definitely something to take a look at. But let's go ahead now and take a look at Guardian's Call. Watch as I make some camera magic happen as I do this. <gasps> So here's Guardian's Call and everything included, and as you might notice, it looks somewhat similar to Sheriff of Nottingham. Now, Sheriff has been the first game that came out, probably a game previous to this one, I should say, and uh, this one here is a new one. I would say it has very similar mechanics, and I'll explain them now very, very briefly, because I'm sure there's also a ton of videos out for this one. It's a very popular game as well, and it's uh, doing very well for good reason. Uh, this one here, it's got that big stack of cards that is basically like your currency, your, uh, your trading value cards, your goods, but the these are going to be used throughout the game for the most part. You'll be you'll be discarding them. So certain things like curses will be played on other people, as well as artifacts will let you get certain things like treasures. There's also quests. These things will basically come out at the beginning of the game, and during one of two phases, these cards will be enacted and people will score points. But it functions very similarly to to Sheriff of Nottingham. Uh, it, the, the difference is this plays two players, uh, two to five, and that one plays three to five with the uh, six with, with the expansion. But uh, in, in any case, when you play two players with this game. It works because you're playing from your hand of cards. You say, I have two villagers, and that player will then say, yes, you do. And if you do, they get it. If you don't, you get it. And vice versa is the same way. Basically, as long as they can either call you on your bluff or on your truth, they're going to gather those cards from you and put them in front of their, their player boards, which is their tableau. And they're going to put them in stacks. So instead of actually playing on the player board, how you stick them in the sides like Sheriff, in this one, you just put them in front. Uh, additionally, based on the cards, such as shields, at the end of the game, you're going to score points based on how many you have. Spell cards are wilds, but they don't count as wild when you're playing them as an offer. You have to say that they're spells or, or a lie and say that there's something else to get them. Artifacts, you can discard three to draw two treasures and pick one. You got weapons at the end of the game. Whoever has the most gets 10. Whoever has the second most gets 20. Curses can be bluffed, and they can also be removed from the game via coins, which I'll talk about in a second. And villagers are going to let you move up on this track. If you get three villagers in their tableau, you know, you know, if you get three villagers in your tableau, you move up three spaces. If you get another three, you'll move up another three spaces. As you go from 5, 10 to 15, you're going to score bonus victory points. Also, during the two phases of the game, which is going to depend on this deck here, you're going to score additional points being the first, second player on the board. So you're going to be traveling across that board. So you're not simply just keeping them in your tableau anymore. Now you are utilizing them to gather specific benefits and, and other things that can hurt other players. The currency is virtually similar or the same. You have the, the ones, threes, fives, and tens, and so on and so forth. And now they've changed it. Instead of just having the sheriff move along, everybody's turn will pass. And during your turn, you're just going to try and make some make somebody an offer. And you're going to flip over one of the person that you've chosen to make an offer. And then your next turn and your next turn turn and then your next turn once all of them flipped over you'll flip them back up again the game will end in this game when the final card that is called the war card is drawn in which the last final scoring is going to happen and the player with the most currency after victory points is deduced is going to be the winner now another interesting thing too is when you fail on your bluff check so you roll the a one on your bluff check uh the other player is going to get your cards but you're going to get a coin and there's a couple other ways you can gain coins as well such as each of your characters has an affinity for a specific type of card and if they gain those cards in an offer they're going to get coins for that with five coins you can actually go ahead and discard a curse card from the market and the market's going to look like something like this and you can discard one of these curse cards and that's going to score you five instant victory points if you spend three, you can pull a card from the top of the deck, or you can pick a card from here and place it into your tableau, and that will give you more cards for whatever purpose it is that you need them for. So coins are of value throughout the game, and if you happen to have them at the end of the game, they're, they're still worth three to one victory point at the end of the game, but more than likely you should use them. The artwork, as, as you can see, really nice. It's a fantasy-style game, and it comes with a first player marker of all the different four games that have been out. Uh, Sorcerer City, Guardian's Call, Grim Forest, and... Uh, Barnyard Roundup, one of his first games actually, which is very, 
very similar and I almost wanted to bring the, that one into this one this video as well but really I think it's so close to Sheriff it's just more of a little kid game that I didn't think it was a fair representation of of the three games that one specifically for kids so Barnyard Roundup is uh, specifically when I have my my little nieces and nephews coming over to play the game. The game. Uh, this is the box. This is a game trays box. As you can see, it's got the nice trays. This is the best trays, the plastic trays that you can probably get in a board game, especially that come in the box uh, after production is done, other than something like per se, uh, broken token, right? Those are going to be things that you make and put it in the, the board game inserts. This one is already pre-made. Very, very nice. It's nice too because when you take, let's say you take one of these things in here, they make it so that you can push on one side and it will pop open and it'll be easier for you to gather the tokens and the cards and all that kind of thing. So overall, those are the, the differences between the two games. There is some differences, especially moving on this board and whatnot and the way you trade and how many players can play in the game. But uh, that is how you... Uh, for the most part, to play the game Sheriff Nottingham and Guardian's Call. Let's go ahead now and have our battle between the categories, and then we will determine who the winner is, and maybe, if you're lucky, I can get, get Grant to show up for one of them. We'll see. All right, so let's go ahead and see if I can materialize Grant for this board game battle. You ready? Excellent. So, Grant, you ready to talk about Guardian's Call and... Sheriff of Nottingham? I guess. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and talk about the component quality. That is my favorite thing to talk about to begin with because that is my most important aspect in gaming is yep. the quality of the components, right? Yep. Well, I guess so. Uh, so in Guardian's qu Call, there is thick chits as far as the uh, boards all go, the cards are all nice quality, the player tokens are nice, the extra coins, as well as even the first player marker, and mm -hmm. of course the miniatures are nice yeah. as well. They're a little bit chalky, I suppose, but you don't use them a whole lot, so they're... they're... I didn't notice that, so... No, well, they're, they're pretty good. Uh, the player boards are, of course, not uh, thick cardboard, but that's because you don't really utilize them that much. You just put them down, and uh, unlike Sheriff from Nottingham, which you're putting cards... Nice yeah, they are nice and thick. You'll be putting cards face down underneath them, so they're utilized quite a bit. But these boards here, not 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 so much, right? Mm -hmm. um, in this game here, we've got the uh, little baggies here that open up and close. They make a nice snapping sound, and they close as well nicely. Uh, they are, of course, been played with a lot, so some of my baggies are actually broken because yeah. I've played with them so much. Uh, and that does kind of add to the theme as well, I would say. Um, as well as the uh, board games also have their inserts, right? The Sheriff of Nottingham has the older style insert, but it's still very nice quality plastic. You put the th cards into three different uh, sets, as well as there is a space for each of the different currencies in the game, from 1, 5, 20, and 50, which is really nice. And then Guardians of Call has the... Blue very nice, I think they're game trays, Yes, right? game tray table, or g game tray... Uh, what do you want to call them, the inserts. And yeah, they come with the game pre-set up. They're very nice when you put things in, you can take them out really easily. And everything has a place and a place for everything, right? Yep. Uh, but however, this one can't play expansions because there's not enough room yeah, in it. Room in that. But in Sheriff there is. In fact, I actually have an expansion in there right now for the basically the mini expansions in the game. Um, overall though, all the quality of the, both these games is very, very nice. If I had to specifically choose which one I think had a little bit better quality of components, it would probably be Guardian call by just a smidgen because it has that nicer game trays insert and then yeah, so. most of the quality of the components is slightly nicer um, however of course the player boards is the big difference and it depends on the game right in this yeah. case it doesn't make as much of a difference but in this one it's a very big difference to have that nice quality player board because you're using it so much yeah. I think you have to have the appropriate player board for what you're doing if you don't interact with it the thin one if you do interact with it a lot you want the thicker one yeah I, I would definitely agree but uh, overall this one just takes it just by a little bit it has a little extra miniatures and whatnot oh, um, overall really highly produced game and this one is I would say medium high produced game if not almost on the cusp of being a really high quality game this one just has more stuff to it as well yeah um, so that is that for me I, I guess I think Guardians Call what do you think yeah I think Guardians Call just noses out uh, Sheriff of Nottingham and okay let's talk about artwork artwork is probably the most important thing for users to uh, or people to go ahead and see on a campaign about 10 seconds you have to check it out and determine if it's something that's right for you with Sheriff of Nottingham, it's a little more gritty. The theme's a little more dark, I would say. It's got a little bit more of a punch to it when it comes to bluffing and bribing people, and you have to be a little more conniving with it. This one, you are being treacherous, but it's for a noble cause. Everybody here is noble, and you're trying to make your lands as best as possible. Yep. Uh, the artwork is also high fantasy, whereas this one here is a little, I guess, a little bit more gritty cartoonish. It's like, it's 
historical fantasy. Yeah, yeah. Um, personally, I would choose Sheriff Not of Nottingham over Guardian's Call. I feel like this is just a little bit more of a cliche fantasy, uh, just basic fantasy style. I like artwork. the cleaner high high fantasy look because to the dark gritty one. So, so you like the you like this one specifically yeah. better. Uh, yeah, I, I could see that. The artwork is great in this game. They both have great artwork, but this one for some reason does it a little bit for me, especially because of the theme. For you though, you would say Guardian's Call. Yeah, that's right. Uh, what about theme now? Because artwork kind of goes with theme, right? Uh, personally, this one feels very unique to me. You are a traveling merchant. You're trying to help the uh, the merry band of brothers and, of course, Robin Hood, or merry men, I guess. And you're trying to get them to make money from your contraband or you're trying to get, get contraband in. The sheriff mm -hmm. is trying to stop you. He's working for the, sh the, the new king because he's the old king is off to war. And because of that, you're trying to gather the... The best stuff you can for the you know the, the the people who steal from the rich and give to the poor. This one is your your generic kingdom, and you are generically trying to generically gather more things into it and uh, you protect it as best as you can. You need villagers, shields, swords, uh, stopping curses, and whatnot. You're the good guy of the realm. Uh, Personally, in theme-wise, I like Sheriff of Nottingham. I feel like it's a lot more unique to uh, board gaming than something I haven't seen before, as far as as far, as far as bluffing games go, you're you're literally trying to smuggle things. Uh, but you, I know, have a different opinion on this. Yeah, I'm kind of the opposite. I feel like the the sheriff or the, the the Robin Hood theme is like the is like more unoriginal, whereas the cliche hero, a high fantasy, is actually the opposite. It's more original, in my opinion. For the theme, for the yeah, mechanics yeah. as well. I can see that. Uh, but yeah, overall, I, I would personally pick Sheriff of Nottingham as far as the theme goes, especially how the theme and the mechanics work with what you're trying to do as far as stealing things away and getting past that evil sheriff, as opposed to building up your your large castle and your fortress and yeah. whatnot and gathering new and unique things. Okay, so transitioning from that, let's talk about mechanics now of the game. Okay. Uh, mechanics for Sheriff of Nottingham. This one, of course, you are bluffing by putting them into the bags. It has to be the same number, but it can be different things. And in Guardian's Call, it can be, it, can be this, it has to be the same number, but it also has to be one specific type. It yep. can't, so can't, there's no spells, contraband. You know. Four but spells. I, ha I've, I tell you, I have four curses. Well, no, I can't say four curses. I have four spells. Yeah. That are actually curses. And I have to, to go ahead and determine if you're bluffing or not. In mm -hmm. this one here, if he's bluffing, I call him on it. I get some reprisal, but he gets to keep some. Um, however, if he's not bluffing, uh, he gets to make me pay money to you know, him. Actually, are there a curse like thing in, in Sheriff? No, uh, there's the, the it's it's the contraband. It's the red cards. Those cards that are basically you're trying to smuggle in, but you'll lose money if you get messed up on it. Uh, this one has a little bit less of a neg negative player experience when it comes to that because uh, I, I guess it's kind of hard to say. This one here, you're gonna get coins, right? When you when you fail your mm -hmm. your your bluff check or when they succeed in determining that you're telling the truth, you're gonna get a coin, and coins will be let you buy curses and whatnot. This one here. If I tell you I have three sheep and I have two sheep and contraband, I lose the contraband, but I get to keep the sheep. So I get, I feel like I get more from Sheriff of Nottingham when it comes to come, you know, retrieving back my stuff. I only lose what I lied on. This one here, it's just a yes or a no. It's a truth or a lie. And depending on how you do, you either get all or nothing, but your, your recompensance, your, your whatever you want to call mm. it, the word is you get your compensation, you get one coin. There's also other ways to gain coins too because there's affinity for the characters, which one, is nice. One of the negative experiences I had with Sheriff of Nottingham is uh, someone will always call me on, or they'd always inspect my baggage, so I could lie, but then they just call me, or, so it was very hard to build up a tableau because I couldn't get what I wanted because every time they just called me on it. Yeah, I, I, that, that happens. I think with both games it's going to be like that. In this one here, you might get loaded up with curses in your hand, and they know you have curses because you haven't played them, either by bluffing or by telling the truth, and so eventually you have to get rid, get rid of them. And if you ever call four, you're going to get in trouble. But if you call less, you're going to have to keep extra curses in your hand, so you're holding on to more. This one gives you a little bit more variability when it comes to what cards you want to get rid of and why mm -hmm. you want to get rid of them. Um, but they all have their, they both have their ups and downs. Additionally, with the mechanics in this game, the coins are a nice little aspect as far as getting rid of the curses, so you don't have to deal with those cards. They will also give you victory points. You can also take cards from the market with three of these coins to put in your tableau. Yeah, that's a nice one, because in this one, you can't really affect your tableau in that way. You actually have to bluff or call the bluff, whereas in that one, you can just buy them, which is, you know, a reward for, for losing the, the bluff. Yep. 
So there is some aspects that change the game as far as this goes. This one has like golden apples and stuff like that, which is contraband, but it counts mm -hmm. as two apples or counts as three chickens and whatnot. They're very bland and very simplistic. Yeah. There's no like actions. There is the expansion, which I said I'm not going to talk about, but that does change a little bit of that. So you're not going to use it to weigh your opinion. Yeah, yeah, so. as best as I possibly can. I can only remain as unbiased as possible, I suppose. Yeah. But uh, in just the base game alone, there's, there's more blandness. This one has more to it because, yes, shields and weapons are end of game triggers that will give you money spells are wild so artifacts are going to let you gain these treasures which all gives you some kind of a bonus which is very nice the curses are my least favorite card of the bunch because i feel like they just don't do yeah, enough they're not really powerful enough no they're they're just like oh okay so you want, okay you, you got me to the card each curse you got through or something, something like that yeah if i want them to feel more like contraband because that's kind of what they are in this game when you don't get contraband through you are paying for it dearly uh villagers moving up this track this castle track it feels Which like a little bit of a race ones. yep which is nice as well and then the affinity this, this game actually could do would do with some variable player yeah. powers this one's very basic as far as vari vari variable Whenever player you get powers. past the card of your affinity you get coins so yeah. that's the other way to generate coins. it's a nice little way of getting a little bit of extra but that's also on other players to actually pass you those cards or or pretend to not pass you them however mm -hmm. you want to look at it but for mechanics wise um I would probably go with the tried and true sheriff of Nottingham. I just like the aspect of bluffing, and I also like the bonus aspect that you can go ahead and bribe the sheriff. In this game, there's no bribery, and I think bribery is what makes that game the most fun for me. Is the fact that I give you here's five coins, even though you know I'm lying to you, I am going to you're going to take those five coins. I'm going to take these, right? Oh yeah, that sounds like a good idea, right? This one is just kind of yes, no. And if you fail, uh-oh. <laughs> I actually agree with you. I think the mechanics for that one are average, and this one is a little bit better than average. So I'm going to go with Sheriff for this one, too. And if I also had to put my, uh, my, my, my old-school gamer hat on, I guess, I'd say that this game uh, is very similar as far as they go, and that this one is probably, uh, I don't know for a fact, but I'm guessing this, th this game was the idea that became of this game and i can see that change that change, change the different the aspects of how the cards the work the card. yep and then they added the different coins they added how the cards can be removed and whatnot it's not as important to have cards in your tableau as it is in this one this one has a more variable aspect to your tableau management but for some reason how, how you uh pick the people as well yeah exactly uh, but for this one for some reason it just still it just still rings true to me i, I just would prefer to just do the bluffing this is just a straight bluffing game this one here has a lot more a lot more added to it so maybe mm -hmm. more strictly like strategic style gamers are going to be more into this and more people who are into just bluffing or like, just need to add content. this feels more like a party game this one's a little bit more of a strategy game no yeah, that's a fair assessment so i think i think that's probably what it would be and uh, i also think that this game got a lot of inclination to, to from sheriff of nottingham as well so because of that those reasons i'm gonna, I'm gonna I, i'd go with uh, this one specifically as far as that goes mm -hmm. uh, and how about overall overall from both games if you had to pick one of them which one would you pick and if you had one of them, would you pick the other one? Um, I would pick Guardian's Call without the expansion for Sheriff. Okay, so if, you just had to be, if it was just between the two games, you'd go straight for Guardian's Call? Yeah. Okay, what if you already own Sheriff? Would you still want to pick up Guardian's Call? Mm, but do I have the expansion for that? Because that's no, the, no. That's the, that's no. The yeah, I think I might get that one. Yeah, you would, just because it adds a little bit mm -hmm. more. Um, I think for if I have Sheriff of Nottingham, I would not pick up Guardian's Call. Um, and if the expansion wasn't included, I probably still wouldn't go for it. Um, just because it, it pre 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 presents a lot of extra stuff in there that is just not really as much for me. I don't mind the tokens. They're cool. I like moving along the track, but it feels like a different game. It's like being integrated into a game that is not fully formed. And maybe that's because I'm more biased towards Sheriff just because I've been playing it longer. I mean, that's... that's obviously mm -hmm. something i have to think about as i'm going through these games um and i also talked to the people who i played this with multiple times we played it ourselves a two-player game which actually worked pretty well um of course it just came down to who was a better liar but with more and more players it changed the game a little bit and not only that but um at the end of the game uh, everybody had different scoring based on the different cards available however everybody had played this game also previously played this game and most of them said they'd rather play sheriff as well most of them were also more inclined to play party games mm -hmm. and less strategic tactical style games which just has a little bit more of that in there so overall i'd go with sheriff of nottingham uh, just simply because i like the tried and true method of simply bluffing and the little extra stuff in here is nice it's a game i would definitely still play if somebody asked me to play what's the player counts for these this one is three to five with three the base five. game and this one is two to five two to five and uh, this one has I an extra player like four to five 
but no place three because you need one person to be the yep. sheriff and two people can be the people that get okay. uh, which this one has that extra two player so if you're playing if you're looking for a two player game then sheriff of mayhem is not for you just in general you yeah. can't play it uh, this one here actually does work with the two player game and it works with a two player as long as you're game. equal on the bluffing skill if yeah. you're not then then it becomes a a, uh, a landslide a one sided uh, so that was our board game battle for the game Sheriff of Nottingham and Guardian's Call. If you thought that he was going to pick Guardian's Call and I'd go with Sheriff, then you were correct. And if not, well, better luck next, next time. time. Exactly, right? Uh, please do go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment down below. Give us your opinion on these two games. Which one would you prefer? Which one have you played? Have you played Both. either one? And uh, if so, what was your uh, overall experience with this video? What do you think we could have done better? What do you think we could have done worse? And uh, even the different categories. Like We had our obvious opinions on, on them, and they differed in, different, in, in certain ways. But I think we we're pretty close. Even though we both liked the other game a little more than the other one, I think we had the same... The same beliefs as yeah, more there. or less. So yeah, I'm curious as to what you would think. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching another board game battles, and as always, we look forward to seeing you guys, guys next time. time.